She was just beautiful. I mean, she had a head full of hair and um, she had long, long fingers. And the nurses always said she was going to be a piano player. My options that were, were given to me were you can leave her here and let her die, you can take her to Barstow Hospital and let her die, or you can take her home and let her die. Darkness inside my soul when you walked in. Up until Baby Faye, uh, certainly up until the early 1980s, um, none of these babies survived. None of them. And so we began to actually study the possibility of cross-species transplantation using, using baby baboons. I wondered if the doctor was a mad scientist. <laughs> it was so exciting and nerve-wracking and frightening all at the same time because you can imagine how nervous we were. We were scared to death. And we had made the commitment and we were going to go ahead the phone rang and you could hear a pin drop on this unit, which is unusual on an ICU unit, because what we wanted to hear, we wanted to hear one piece of information. Was that heart, did the heart beat? Was it beating? I don't know why it all started with her, you know, God, God, only God knows, but it had to start somewhere.